London, UK, checking out some of this beautiful winter weather. And I decided that while I'm here, I'm gonna make a little YouTube video because Vivo just sent me their new X30 Pro and they challenged me to test out some of the new camera functions such as the super long zoom lens and the portrait mode, etc. And I've only had a day to play around the phone. Not exactly sure how it works, but today we're gonna test it out, play with it, have some fun, do some challenges and Hope you guys can come along and check it out with me. Let's do it. And I'm with my old pal Robbie. We shot together a ton like two years ago, yeah, back in 2017. Yeah, tons. And I'm also with my friend Debbie. She's Hi in London and I needed a bit of help with this video. So she's like, sure. Debbie in the yellow jacket is gonna head over to Tower Bridge and we're gonna see if we can spot her from here, which is so far away on the phone. All right, let's do it. Wait for the big walk? Yes. Definitely. All the way over there? Yes. Okay, see you in a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay. You know what we should do is actually, if you walk over there. Oh, the shard. We should uh, we should get her to go up one of there. Oh, just, tell, her to, tell her to go up on top of here so you can find her. We go up there. <laughs> one of the first videos Robbie and I shot was actually on a rooftop. Yeah, yeah, we actually we had. Don't worry, we definitely, most definitely had permission for that video. We had permission from the building owner, so yeah. that was a good fun video. Super uh, great video. So Robbie's actually helping me film this video, which is awesome. This guy, super pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't even need stabilizer. You just need legs. 60. Wow. Okay, it's a little blurry, but that's crazy close. It's that 60 times zoom on a mobile phone is the equivalent of 1,200 millimeter lens. That was handheld. That's impossible to keep the stability on an actual camera. The longest lens I have in my bag is a 400 millimeter and it's so shaky. Dude, look at it, like look at us now, how far we are from away from Tower Bridge. We're it's so ridiculous. far away. All right, so Debbie just called me. She's over there. I can't see her with my eye, but we set this baby up on a tripod. Let's see if we can find her. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is so ridiculous. I don't understand. Oh, there she is. She's in the bottom. I need to adjust this. This is only at 22. This goes three times more. Oh. There she, is. there she is. Look at how far. This is how, as far as I can zoom in with my camera. That's nuts. We're heading over to Tower Bridge now to meet back up with Debbie. Hey, Robbie, you have an iPhone 11, right? Yeah. Here, Literally. physically, see if you can make any comparisons with the two looks on these phones. I noticed is this has a thumbprint reader literally in the screen, which doesn't make any sense to me because iPhone had to get rid of theirs, which was like one of my favorite things. Here, I'm gonna show you. But like, show me do look. It again. Here, let's see that thing come up. Boom! It's automatically like there's that Sensing. screen, that screen that he's touching. So Robbie and I are gonna test out the telephoto lens on the tower bridge. We're just gonna stand in the middle of the road. It might be a bit close to cars, but whatever. Stand in the middle and compress, zoom the lens all the way in. Come on, Debbie, here she is. And the sun is out right now. Out. You brought the sun out, <laughs> I nice. I know, right? Perfect. All right, let's test out some of the portrait features right now on this bridge. Okay. Take some of you. So you'll notice now, it's got the eye focus. It's focusing right on her eye. So I'm in five times optic zoom, portrait mode. I'll go down to two. Ah, oh, so super nice. Great. Oh, there already. I'm trying to find him um, through the camera. Is that him? Oh, that's him. Wow. wow, even more, even more, all the way 60. Yep. Next 
challenge is we're now clearly on the London Eye, and Debbie actually stayed down on the Westminster Bridge. So we're gonna see if we can zoom in all the way down and capture her on the bridge and see if we can get some decent photos out of it. Still in that yellow jacket, so we should be some, able to find her. Somewhere around there. Oh, there we go. Hey, she got our call. She's waving. <laughs> she doesn't know where she's looking. Hey, we're waving back. It's crazy. We let it all out where we are concealed. And every moment when I'm with you, it's a blessing. No more stressing. So if you want to, come and hold me. So, yeah, we have the Holy Trinity of lenses. We have the wide angle, which is great up here to get people in the foreground and the view. And you have the normal lens with portraits, so you can blow your background, and then we have like an incredible telephoto. Videographer ghost walk. I nailed the ghost walk. <laughs> I've got a ghost walk down for you. This is pretty intense. Oh, he's falling! He's falling! That's pretty good. That's pretty I'm good. Right. Let's see the footage. The iconic telephone booth in front of us. Let's get a shot here. The one and only. Boom, 20. It's got a 20 maximum burst. Classic London. It starts raining, then the sun comes out. Then it starts raining, the sun comes out all day. All right, so it's raining outside, so we're gonna head down to the underground. And apparently, the Canary Wharf station in the tube is pretty awesome to shoot. Unfortunately, Debbie had to take off, but Robbie and I are still keeping the shoots going today. Buckingham Palace, the one and only. We had to come to Buckingham Palace because it just screams London, but it is gloomy out here. That guy has no eyes. He's like sleeping. Eye focus? <laughs> That's new profile picture. <laughs> he's going, he's going, oh! So we are here, I think this is the Buckingham Palace gate. And we just got a reflection shot with the phone, with the wide angle. The wide angle really came in handy here. Turn it upside down right against the water and you get the reflection. And he also got a shot, which I believe is gonna be the thumbnail of this video. The reflection shot of the reflection shot. All right, we're nearing the end of the day now and it's time to test out the night mode on this camera. So. We're here at the Westminster Abbey. We'll shoot the Abbey and then maybe get a shot of the London Eye lit up. And so let's see how this phone does at night. Let's do it. Nighttime. That wraps up our entire day of shooting with the Vivo X30 Pro. We tested out the wide angle, the portrait mode, the long lens, and even the night mode. At first test, I'm pretty happy with what I've seen so far. However, let's go back to the Airbnb and we'll tell you my final thoughts. Let's go. All right, made it back to our Airbnb and here are my final thoughts on the X30 Pro. The thing in my mind that makes this kind of stand out, the unique selling proposition is, of course, the four cameras that has the two and five times optical zoom and then up to 60 times digital zoom. It was super fun to use digital zoom. Use on the video, all the things we use the zoom for. Pretty fun. The wide angle, the portrait, the stability, the night mode, all very competitive. Super great, we got great shots on those, like you saw in the video. I was very happy with the way all those things performed. For those into video, unfortunately we didn't get to test much of the video features. However, it does do 1080 up to 240 frames, and also films 4K. 
So if we had more time to test this, we would get more into the video, but we were focused on photography for today. One thing I probably wouldn't use on this phone is all of the beauty features. So in the selfie mode, um, there's ways to like make your jawline bigger, nose smaller, bigger, lips bigger, eyes bigger, skin super smooth. I probably wouldn't use all those functions, however, maybe some people will. There is, the screen is an OLED screen and also has 5G. So that's one thing that's super cool. Finally, the best thing in my mind about this phone is that it is only $600. For all of those features you just heard me say, and a day of testing, we had a blast with it, $600. In my mind, $600, super affordable, a very quality phone for a fraction of the price. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a super fun time testing out this new Vivo X30 Pro. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.